All right, what's up, guys? Um, the reason I made this video is because a lot of people are like talking about Call of Duty and Ghost, and it's coming out. And I know I might not have the best mic, but now I'm right here just to tell you that it's just not what you should get. And I'm going to give you a reason. A few reasons is um. Call of Duty has always been the same. Now I know they were like, oh, there's a new engine and, you know, all that stuff. But all they've really added is, um, that sliding system and, um, and that peaking system and the dynamic maps, which I'll get to in a second, actually. But if you really think about it, they're not adding that much. It doesn't make the game that different. It's always been the same. Get you you always die one kill off the kill streak, and you restart again, and it's the same thing every fucking time. I've played uh, Modern Warfare Three and Black Ops Two since they were released, and I've played a little bit of the other Call of Duties that were before that, and I've noticed that they're all the same. Um. So Call of Duty Ghost, it's basically the same as Modern Warfare 3 if you look at it. The graphics might be a little better. The mechanics look the same. Um, for example, right here, uh, I'm going to show you a picture. If you look at how this man or soldier is running with a shotgun, it looks the same. And if you don't believe me, you can go look up gameplay of Modern Warfare 3 and then compare it to Call of Duty Ghost if you haven't actually played it yourself. But you will definitely feel like it's the same exact thing, I promise you. The other reason is, Call of Duty Ghost is just trying to steal things from other games just because they think it'll make their other people buy their game and they just want to make it so different. So, um, the first thing I want to talk about is that parkour move or whatever, where you're running and you just jump over the object and you lean over it or whatever, just so you can keep your, um, momentum. That has already been in Battlefield. And they're just stealing it from, from them because they obviously ran out of ideas and they're just completely out of shit. And they don't know what to do with their games. Um, another thing is the dynamic environment, which has already obviously been in Battlefield 3, and Battlefield has already been like famous about that. And for those of you who think Battlefield is a slow-paced game, that's not it. That's, that's not the case for every single map and every single game mode. If you say that, you obviously have not played enough Battlefield 3. There's many maps, many game modes that will offer you close quarters, close quarter fight, like Team Deathmatch, No Shark Canals, for example. Try that. I'm sure you'll like it. It's it's close quarters too. But anyway, going back to the point. Um, so that maps are dynamic maps has already been in Battlefield. Besides, in Battlefield 4, you will be able to take down an entire building. Compare that to where in Call of Duty Ghosts, you just make one of those electrical wire pole things fall down on a car, which is already, I saw in the trailer, uh, and those, like, logs that fall down or whatever. Compare that to an entire skyscraper collapsing. Which do you think is greater? I mean, obviously, the answer is the one in Battlefield 4, which is the building. So really, it's, it's, nothing, it's nothing new uh, introduced to us. It's already been in Battlefield, but all these Call of Duty fanboys are just hating, and they think we're hating on them, and it's because of that. Because they hate on every other shooter, and they expect us, expect us to be silent about it. So, yeah... Another thing is that peaking system that they have in Call of Duty Ghosts where you can peak safely and um, 
get a kill and without getting shot and being safe and whatever, that has already been in Medal of Honor. Yes, it has. And and if you don't believe me, just, just go research. I mean, it's it's up to you. I really don't care if you buy the game or not. But I'm just giving you reasons not to and why you shouldn't waste your money on another Call of Duty title. Or at least, even before, even if you want to buy it, give it some time, please. Don't buy it on the first day, because I promise you, in a few months, you will get bored of it, and you're going to realize that it's the same exact thing as the other Call of Duty. Another thing that is new is the soldier customization. And for those of you who don't know, that has already been in Halo. And it's just not new. To, like, Call of Duty didn't just make that up. Besides, I mean, I know in Battlefield, you, you really didn't, you weren't able to change the game as much. But you were able to change the camos of your characters. And the, every kit looked different, depending on which team you're on. So that's, uh, that's different. Um, so obviously they're just stealing that. Um, female soldiers, they've can, oh, female soldiers, yeah, yeah, yeah. They said that it's new and whatever. Female soldiers have been in Halo too. And they're just another thing that they just stole right there. Um, besides Battlefield confirmed female soldiers early in 2012 way 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 before even black ops 2 came out so just to give you a heads up on how much shit they're taking now another thing that just makes it funny is that the game is all about uh ghosts and masks and people wearing masks i mean come on who the heck wears masks Thieves do, right? Obviously thieves do, because they don't want to be seen. And then that kind of relates to them stealing from other games. And it's just something funny that I was able to take. Um, another thing is probably the explosives. Obviously a lot of bullshit is just uh, pisses people off. And most, most of the way you die in Call of Duty is like... Because of bullshit and unfairness, barely any an enemy skill. Um, and now they're just bringing back overpowered explosives. If you watch the trailer for the multiplayer, you probably saw the noob tube blow up like the whole uh, the whole the floor of the whole building. And that C4 just blew up everything. Um, there's gonna be those overpowered explosives coming back. So I really don't care if you guys buy Call of Duty Ghost. Um, it's up to you. I made, this, I made this video just for you guys to think about it and, you know, see what you think. But, um, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. Um, like if you liked the video, don't, if you didn't, I'm obviously not going to force you, but it's up to you, it's what you want to do, um, and anyways, that's a wrap, um, and I'll see you guys later, thank you.